Alcohol inks are a fun medium to play with and they are very much different to other mediums such as watercolour paints for example because the alcohol in them actually dries really quickly so you've got the colour left behind but you can use alcohol blending solution and things such as the specific stamp pads to help lift off this colour and move it around and manipulate it. So some of the tools that you're going to need are your felt applicators. This is not a foam, this is more of a felt because a foam would absorb the alcohol. We want to move it around. We've got some clean applicator pads as well. And I've got a special paper. Now this paper is called Yopo and this has a particular coating on it and it's created especially for alcohol inks. It's a very glossy surface so it's good fun to move around the inks on. The first thing I'm going to do is apply directly to the paper to show you what this looks like. And I'm going to start with blues and greens, keeping to those cool tones on the colour wheel. So this one is patina. And just take the lid off, you'll notice that you do have a small nozzle on there. Now a little bottle like this will last a very long time. As you can see, see I still have an awful lot in there and this is one of my favourite colours. Now I am going to drip directly onto the surface. Just bear in mind, you can see that spreading there. When you're using alcohol inks, you're not going to be able to achieve the exact same effect every time. Um, this is because it's a little bit unpredictable. So you see I'm mixing my colours here and the colours, rather than mixing as such, they are separating, they're creating a beautiful background. Now you can leave those and they will just blend themselves together for as long as that alcohol is still in there. As the alcohol evaporates, we can see where we've got the lighter colour around the outside. This is dry now. The centres, dark centres are still a little bit wet. When we apply other colours, this is then reinvigorating that background. And you can see those colours are separating. Now at the moment, those colours are of course all separate colours. They are really, really beautiful and I absolutely love that as a background. Now I'm going to use my applicators instead. You can go in and you can, you, you can use your applicators with that or you can put the colours directly onto your felt. So a few drops onto each. So the same colours so you can see the difference. I'm going to use the patina. This is where you absolutely don't want to be using two or three colours that will go muddy together. So you want to make sure you're using colours that are similar areas of the colour wheel. So any colours that you know will create a brown, for example, such as red and green, don't use these together. So four or five drops on there of each colour. And now what I can do is I can take these and I can splodge. I can press down and you can see we get a more muted effect or I can actually go in and rub these for even more blending of the colours there. So a much paler effect. So that creates again a beautiful background. Now with these we do have the option to lift this colour up and that would be with the alcohol blending solution. This is what this is for. Now you can blend down these colours and if I just put a few drops of this onto the saturated colour, you'll see that is lifting off the colour. And this is fantastic for adding even more texture to a background and I'm just randomly placing them. And I do love how the edges go darker as well. We're going back towards that white area that we saw there on the paper at the very, very beginning. Now I'm going to create more of a marble effect. So I'm going to put down a few colours that I love to start with. I'm going to place down some areas of pink and some blues. You notice where the blue goes into the pink, it turns into purple. And quickly before this dries, I'm going to dribble some alcohol blending solution around the very edges. Now you have to work quite quickly with this. I'm now going to blow this with a straw.
And then I'm going to reapply some more alcohol ink because the alcohol blending solution, sorry, because this has now started to dry. So do smaller areas now. This will break that colour up. more up here. And there we have a beautiful sort of marbled background and you can continue this over the entire surface if you want to. So another technique I'd like to show you with this is the alcohol lift here. So we're actually going to lift off the alcohol ink as we've seen before with the alcohol blending solution but in a more controlled way. So using our stamps, and I've got a beautiful feather stamp here. So the first thing I need to do is lay down some color. And I'd suggest for this, you use quite dark color. And I'm going to put it in roughly the area that I am going to want to have my feather image. Now this will, of course, spread a little bit. I'm going to mix a few different colors. So I'm going to put some teals in there as well, just a little bit, not too much. But I want quite a dark colour in total because with this you want that white to really show through. So just allowing that for a few moments to sit. I might add some more blue into the centres of these as well. Just in the centres of those dots. There. Now that will take just a few minutes to dry and while it's drying you can just make sure that your image is going to sit perfectly over that. Now while that's drying I'm going to ink up my stamps so I'm going to be using the alcohol lift ink and this is made specifically for this purpose and you use it in exactly the same way as you do any other stamp. So just pressing the stamp pad onto your stamp and make sure your stamp is nice and clean and dry beforehand. Nothing else on there from previous impressions. And then placing it down onto your alcohol ink there. So I'm just going to press that down for a moment or two and then lift this up. And gradually that will lighten more and more and you'll see we've got that beautiful feather stamped into there. Now you can actually repeat this process as well if you want to a couple of times to keep lifting it up. So I'm just going to do that once more. being very careful to make sure you're going over the same area again and pressing down once more and you'll be able to see clearly through your stamp where you're pressing and that has made that even lighter in exactly the same place and that is a beautiful feather for a stunning card scrapbook page mini album or just a piece of altered art that you can then pop on your wall or in a frame